it's me, Lillian Suarez, and I am answering questions um, that have been asked to me in the group by members or people have messaged me to um, ask me questions. So the first question about mediumship development is how do you stay grounded um, in the beginning of development when you have fear present? Fear can come from you know your religious beliefs um what you think people are going to think about you uh it it's you know it's a big step to say i communicate with those on the other side of life it really is and people will say that um they don't believe in this they will have their own opinions and that's okay everybody should that's why we're individuals so i think you know um when there is fear, perhaps also because you are walking around with an open aura and you've been feeling a presence and because you didn't know what it was, you identified it with fear because when you're making contact with those on the other side of life, it's, it, uh, you know, through your solar plexus and that is associated with your nervous system. So some people can misinterpret that as fear fear like it's, it's something you know scary it's you know it's the unknown so um it is very scary so um you know grounding is really good i have a video on a simple method for grounding i have a video on a simple method for shielding so grounding is to stay in your power and shielding is for you to um you know zip up your energy for you to keep and no one to take as a sensitive person that can tap in easily to people's emotions thoughts and environments you are wanted to have downtime you can't walk around always connecting with everybody and everything else besides yourself so when you shield you're zipping up your energy for you to keep and no one to take um i did a poll here in the group and um, I asked questions and oddly, you know, I said, where would people feel kind of stuck in their mediumship? And a lot of people said keeping the link or unfolding the evidence, but not a lot of people selected understanding your clears, which is very interesting because that to me and my eyes and the way that I teach is the foundation to unfolding evidence and the foundation to um, keeping your link is following your clairs, moving through the clairs. So that would be very interesting. Um, and interesting enough, I have a class coming out next month uh, for the anatomy of clairs in your mediumship, which I'm, it just happens to be that, wow, I'm glad I'm teaching the class that just validates that I'm on track here, where people's understanding of their clairs is missing. It's not loud. And if you can understand and become aware of being in your clear feeling, hearing, seeing, and knowing, then you'll know when you're receiving information through any of those clairs. You know, you'll know. So, you know, I feel like because we can, and that was me in the beginning, we can communicate with with a soul that is coming in a visiting spirit. We're like, oh, I'm, I'm a medium, I'm a medium, it's all good, you know, I, I can do this. And yes, now you've identified that you can connect, but you have to understand how to use your faculties. Um, and so that's very important. So I would suggest for all of those that are feeling they can keep their link, for all of those that are feeling that there's a lack there of, of you know, unfoldment, understand your clairs it, it could be taking my class it could be getting a book uh, psychic navigator is the perfect book that i recommend if that's something that you want to expand on it's a wonderful book and it gives you exercises on your clairs clear feeling hearing seeing and knowing and if you're somebody that has never heard of clairs it is the way that we receive information whether we're reading mediumistically or we are reading psychically so it is your feeling, your hearing, your seeing, and your knowing. And those four clairs are connected to your chakras, to specific chakras. So, of course, you want to be able to uh, balance your chakras and make sure that they're healthy. Um, that's very important. 
I think um, another response I'll give is people ask, well, what is spiritual hygiene and why should I consider, consider you know, following that routine? Well, simply for me, if I can summarize um, what it is, is um, the balance between your physical and your spiritual body. It's the balance between the two, okay? And um, I feel that it does help uh, because the physical body has to build the tolerance for obviously being in the power of a reading. Being in the power of a reading, you're moving up to an elevated state. Uh, you are using the fluids in your body to move that power. And um, it is very, very, very important that you're giving your body back what it needs. I'm on my way to a group right now and I have a vitamin water as well as a water with electrolytes because that's very important. And yesterday I was working as well and I did a healing, a house clearing. I had candelope juice right after. You want to have things that are high in potassium and magnesium. The body is, it needs to get back what you're utilizing from it when you are doing mediumship. Do you need this to be a medium? No. If you don't do this, will this, you know, will you be unable to read? No. But it helps to not be exhausted, sore muscles. When you're dehydrated because of the fluids being used in your body, your magnesium is affected, your potassium is affected, and then this is why mediums get discouraged and say, why do we even want to do this? I feel like crap after doing a group or after doing readings back to back to back. So, hello. Um, this is a great way. Uh, spiritual hygiene is a great way to avoid that and balance it. Uh, I think at, at one point or another in development, I call it the spiritual hangover. Somebody said that and I really like that because it makes sense. You'll, you'll feel like you have a spiritual hangover, um, hence is the, the sore muscles and feeling a bit dehydrated and weak, but you can definitely um, pull yourself back up from that. Even when I do the moon healings monthly, I too get attuned to whatever frequency I am using when I'm doing the healings because remember, when you're in the power of a reading, the power is not coming from you, it's coming to you. And so you're connected to that power during that time and so imagine you know it is it is like being connected to an outlet so or plugged in shall we say to an outlet and using up your fluids so you're you you are literally a conduit when you're doing the work um, so you know a lot of people don't know where to start too that's another question they don't know where to, where do I start I'm a beginner I don't understand any of this I don't know chakras I don't know nothing I to begin with self-care I to begin with understanding your physical body and your energetic body which is your auric field and your chakras and then your clears that's those are the three places that I would suggest that you get knowledge on and expand on uh, but start with you know your chakra system balance it do the chakra prescription which is uh, focusing on the chakras one day at a time and then focusing on where they're imbalanced and maybe working on them weekly all right so you know it's it's just like maintenance i feel it really is it's like maintenance so i hope that this helps you guys um and i appreciate again your trust and uh, I value you being in the group. If you have any questions about development, let me know. Be looking out for classes that are being launched in September. We have a psychic class, a trance class, 18 week mediumship certification class, the clears class. So you have a lot of great classes um, that are being offered online and you can take them from the comfort of your home. Uh, we even have a psychic detective class we have nourishing your mediumship. So all of these are coming up um, to end the year. So we have a lot of great classes that you can take if you want to take them and begin your development and don't know where to start. You can reach out to me and I'll, I'll advise you. It doesn't have to be with me, but I'll be more than happy to advise you. So I thank everybody for your time. And may you continue to love yourself and be exactly who you came here to be. Bye, everybody.